One of the biggest challenges in the developing world is low cost purification of contaminated water. So our particular challenge this year simulates the kinds of contaminated water that you would see in the developing world. So they design a tiny manufacturing plant to purify water in a one foot cube. Building much smaller units allows you to rethink how to run chemical processes, integrate unit operations in a way that now reaps benefits from this that can compete with the economies of scale. Space constraint of having to work within a one foot by one foot by one foot cube, it limits what you can do within that cube, but that means that you have to think outside the box. Think outside the cube in order to get everything inside the cube. Trying to meet all the specifications, especially having a foot cube is very difficult. So you have to really think through the entire design process. In a way, it's, it's a way to highlight the, the social good of engineering, what can be done, diversity, inclusion, all kinds of folks are doing that. But at the same time, we're really educating the future engineers. Similar research and development teams in industry are doing this and have been doing this for years. And so having an opportunity to do it ourselves from a college background, it could lead to just the same things, just the same breakthroughs as we see in industry. It's important for our students and all of our teams to see the support that's being given to them from companies that they will probably work for in the future. Oh, but over 800 million people around the world don't have access to clean water. You really can't expect to thrive in an economy or in a, a society without clean water. So that's a key aspect that we need to focus on in the future. They compete on the merits of their cube, its weight, how much it costs them to build it. And then finally, they duel against each other and see who performs best for purifying water. It's not just the cube, but you've got the pitch, you've got the poster, the video ad. It's very well rounded with the fact that you're not just building something and bringing it to test. There's another dimension to that. Explaining the cost effectiveness, the commercial attractiveness, the social benefits, the sustainability aspects of it, both in a poster, an ad, a pitch, all that combination and all those uh, trade-offs. That's what I really, really like about it. Not only is it fun, you learn a lot. It is definitely one of the greatest experiences I've had so far. We wanted to create something that, that really is consumer focused. So that means trying to drive costs down as much as possible and make maintenance and switching out filters and, and getting access to clean water as easy for the user as possible. Right now, we're also seeing large interest from many universities around the country, even internationally, seeing uh, tens of tens of teams very soon. Uh, maybe even hundreds of teens joining the competition. It was just a lot of fun to work truly from scratch to try to design everything, fit the constraints, but also exceed the constraints and, and give the user the best possible water at the best possible price. It's going to help millions of people getting clean, safe drinking water. It's going to be revolutionary.